everyone welcome to today's video um, my name is Jen and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing to my channel as you can see from my trailer uh, my channel focuses on girly stuff um, shopping vlogs um, obviously luxury shopping uh, I think it's really fun to look at people's vlogs that's what I was doing since the lockdown and as you can see I've been playing around with my eyeshadow palettes just for fun so I think this is a little bit heavy but well it's for a video <clears throat> so I wanted it to be a bit more fun today um, and so this is a highly requested video guys so thanks a lot for the support uh, my channel has been growing recently quite a bit so that's really uh, fun for me because I am um, taking it a bit more seriously now and as you can see posting more regularly and I do enjoy the interactions with you guys so today's video is very um, highly um, requested as you can see I have covered a lot of Van Cleef um, in my video in my on my channel uh, in terms of like shopping vlogs etc so I'm just super fortunate to have met a great essay and for my birthday you know uh, she gave me a candle which is in rose which is like one of my favorite scents like my favorite perfume is the rose Stefan from LV and then um, also she gave me a bottle of champagne obviously that's gone uh, for my birthday and yeah she's just super kind um, Datin Angie at uh, Pavilion KL so we only have one um, VCA boutique in Malaysia by the way so that's where I go to. So today I really wanted to show you guys what I have in my small little collection uh, which will grow more I believe um, but yeah I'm not quite sure what to get next but I think it's also important to um, kind of you know enjoy and appreciate what you already have. So okay I'm gonna start with the first very first item that I got from VCA and um, it is this five motive bracelet in 18k it's in yellow gold, uh, obviously with the carnelian stone that I get a lot of wear off. So if you've been following me, you probably know that I wear this like 24 seven. It really has basically never really left my wrist since I bought it in, um, in late February this year, which was after Chinese New Year. So, you know, I chose red after a very, very long time of thinking. It's not like I decided to walk into VCA one day and got this, guys, to be honest. So the very first time I saw my um, essay was about two years ago, actually. I was just browsing around, like, trying to experiment with luxury jewelry. But, uh, you know, at that time, I did think it was very pricey. Obviously, now prices have gone up even more, right? But anyway, um, so I stepped into the VCA store and Datin Angie was super kind to me. Um, even though obviously I didn't buy anything, I was just trying on the pendants with my girlfriend. And I thought about her, you know, and the really nice comfortable service. I mean, nice comfortable atmosphere at VCA. At that time, it was still in Star Hill. So before they moved over to Pavilion, uh, which is opposite Star Hill Shopping Center, another luxury mall. Uh, which I think is under renovation right now. So, okay, without going too much into that, maybe I'll just share on the wear and tear of this piece is like, to me, it's like non-existent almost. I mean, this is 18K um, yellow gold. And then obviously, um, and this carnelian stone is very, very hardy. So on the more scale, you can check it out. I think it's definitely more than five. I wear it to uh, when I'm showering, uh, even when I go jogging, etc. Um, and I hardly, really, really never take it off. One reason is because it's a little bit difficult to take it off because I did not shorten this bracelet. It's a little bit too long for my wrist and I think for all, most people's wrists. So I kind of have to hook it right here. So this one hangs down as a charm. So I'll put it on for you to take a look later. But if we go into the details of this neck uh, bracelet, as you can see, the beading is just superb. Workmanship is superb at VCA. So I really think you are getting what you're paying for. So it in depending on, on your preferences, um, you might not, not like carnelian. There are so many other choices. There's a malachite, onyx, mother of pearl, um, blue agate and then uh, chalcedony which I really like but chalcedony only comes in white gold so I'm still thinking about it and chalcedony is um, also more fragile than carnelian so if you want something really hardy it's going to be either carnelian hammered gold which is an all gold bracelet I'll show some pictures uh, or 
the onyx which is also very hardy um gyosha is all gold but because just because it's like um carved uh, on the face of the motif it is not that hardy so if you get it scratched up it's going to be very hard to repair or kind of almost impossible to repair because of the uh, um, basically the workmanship the work that goes into carving those um, you know the facets on the motif that makes it shine so much which is super super bling but for me i still am loving my carnelian bracelet as you can see and you know with stones because it is a natural stone there's going to be variations in the colors so i have seen like orangey rusty almost brownish carnelian in the store uh, which i don't really like so i was super lucky to get this one which is almost a true red and as you can see it is a little bit translucent which is typical of carnelian stones so it is translucent i'm not sure we can see it but it's not uh you know super solid if you know what i mean so this is my very first piece and if you're you know wanting to get a five motif bracelet i highly recommend for you to get it you know at the price point i think this is actually more worth it um, than the other stuff pendant or earrings you know it's uh, just slightly more expensive than a pair of earrings uh, I mean, I've, I'm talking about a carnelian stone. So um, typically, the Mother of Pro and Onyx would be the um, cheapest or lowest priced stones um, in VCA and in most other brands, as you can see. So it's just pretty difficult to get a uniform color for five motifs. So if you can get it, and if it's in the shade of red that you like, or blue, if you're into blue agate, I think you should definitely consider getting it so no regrets for this piece at all guys this is just a super pe uh, great piece uh, for my um, in my collection so i'm just going to put it on for you to have a look so i've got it on guys this is what i mean it hangs down like a charm because i'm not able to clip it on here uh, if you wanted to do that you would need to shorten the bracelet but i just never got around to it and i kind of slowly got to like the effect i mean the look of the charm hanging so i think it's quite cute and it stacks really nicely with my cartier rose gold juc which i got later i got the vca first so uh, surprisingly the red goes with almost every outfit so i just keep it on no matter what um, we'll see right going forward if i do get another five motif maybe in white gold then i'll probably alternate depending on what i'm wearing so definitely recommend this this piece guys just try uh, get it in a stone that you like so carnelia is supposed to be for good luck um you know positivity etc attracts uh, good luck basically and positive things so if you believe yes but you know why not right i think it's fun so yep love this piece um, the next piece that I got is actually the butterfly, sweet butterfly Alhambra um, necklace, also in yellow gold with mother of pearl. And you know, this piece was bought like on impulse. To be honest, I wonder if it's a little bit too small now, but it is super cute, guys, as you can see. But because this, um, you know, the sweet actually kind of hook, uh, is on a hook. So it's not like fixed to the chain, so it does move up and down a little bit. And you know, just for information guys, my collection is all from the Alhambra collection. Um, you know, I, I was kind of looking at the um, other collections like Frivol, right, and Perle, but um, I don't know, I still like the Alhambra the most currently. I think I'm not done with it. So you know, it just peeks out if you're wearing something uh, kind of like what I'm wearing today with a you know little frilly collar. I think it's really cute if it peeks out like this or if you can layer it. So it is pretty small. And in terms of wear and tear, not much wear and tear. It's almost non-existent as well. I do take care of my jewelry. Like I don't spray perfume on it even though it is 18 karat gold um, just to be safe. And it is a very dainty chain. It's a very dainty piece. So I still do like it but um, I just don't get to wear it too often because I think it is a little bit small. I mean the sweets were initially made for kids anyway but yeah I think it's really cute and if I layer it um, it will be quite nice as well. So this was my second piece <clears throat> at VCA and as you know sweets are priced slightly not slightly quite a bit lower than the vintage size so you know um this could be a great starter piece as well if uh, you know you just want to kind of try out how you like how much you like the brand but to be honest i think it is not a um very substantial piece it's kind of like a by the way piece guys so but however if you like dainty jewelry uh, you could definitely look at the sweets collection 
um, yeah, I'm just sharing from my personal opinion because I kind of am regretting it a little bit. But anyway, I forgot to show you that the bracelet does come with a traveling pouch like this. This is for the bracelet, which is great. Um, kind of like keeps everything nicely. And just to show Okay, let's move on to my third piece. The third piece that I got was actually a pair of earrings from the vintage, uh, from the Alhambra collection, vintage size in Mother of Pearl in white gold so this was a, a surprise piece like i totally didn't expect myself to like white gold this much and it was just so pretty when i put it on and look at the gleam and the shine and the luster on this mother of pearl i mean these two mother of pearl pieces makes a perfect set of uh for a pair of earrings and I kind of got this from my early birthday present. It's just so pretty, guys. And they're just so classic. They go with everything. And um, at first, I wanted to get yellow gold. And I tried out a lot of pieces, as you can see. I mean, a lot of different kind of stones. But when I tried on the um, Mother of Pearl pair in the white gold, I just could not say no. So this is how it looks, guys. Basically, it clips on like this. And as you can see, there is a little um, thing here that indicates which side it is on. So this is for the right pair, I mean right ear. I'll just put it on for you to have a look at it. It's just super pretty. You can never go wrong with um, any vintage sized earrings from VCA. They are just classics. To be honest, it is a little bit hard to put on. <laughs> kind of have to get used to it. So... Um, yeah, obviously this comes in all the stones uh, and also in the gold if you like, you know, just hammered gold or guilloche. So this is how it looks on the ear. I think it's just so understated yet, you know, it is impactful Like people can, definitely can't see it. And it, it's appropriate for work as well because it doesn't obviously have any logo and um, it's not in your face bling. So if you bought a pair of guilloche ones, probably it will be um, <clears throat> definitely more bling. Uh, if that's the effect that you're going for but totally no regrets uh, for this pair of earrings guys you should definitely consider it and um i've worn it i've worn it a few times since i've got it because you know i just want to make use of whatever i have and not just have them sitting in the closet so no complaints wear and tear a mother of pro is a bit more fragile so i don't wear it i try not to let it um you know, uh, get near any water. Obviously, I'm not going to wear it when I'm jogging, not when I'm showering. And because it's quite big, obviously, I'm going to take it off before I sleep. And so this is not a, you know, hardy stone. So do try to take care of it. If not, it will lose the luster, to be honest. And I don't think that can be fixed. Although you can get the stone replaced, but it is quite rare to get natural stones that, you know, kind of match um, um, in this way. And I think I received a comment from someone, I'm not sure who it is, it's not my usual sabi because I'm not sure if that comment was supposed to be rude. I think the person said like, one of my ears was bigger than the other uh, side, and I'm like, okay, whatever, I don't care, it's okay, I know. Um, so anyway, um, and then my fourth piece in my VC collection is, <clears throat> I think you might know, this is the uh, vintage Alhambra pendant in white gold that I got basically to match my earrings. I got it on my birthday. My essay was so nice to keep it for me because I wanted to think about it. And it was, it basically matches my earrings very well. I mean, in terms of the stone. So even though it's a, uh, you know, it's the same stone, you know, each um, batch of stones may not look the same. So this is in white gold, as you can see. Uh, I think I'm not wearing the right ne neckline for this, but as you can see, I think it looks pretty layered with the butterfly too, right guys? What do you think? So I'm just going to put it on. Uh, usually I won't layer, I mean, I won't mix metals like this, but you know, obviously I think this is fine. And nowadays there are no rules. So let me put it on at the longest setting. I have the butterfly on the shortest setting, I think. Oh no. I think the butterfly is at the same setting. Oh gosh, that's weird. I'm just going to remove the butterfly guys. So um, this is how it looks. I think, don't you think it looks so much better when it's a set? Usually I'm not a matchy matchy kind of person, but in this case, I just couldn't resist. Take a look at the gleam guys. So um, obviously a pendant is also a great starter piece, the vintage size. It is more substantial than the sweets for sure. And uh, in terms of price points, it's definitely cheaper than the five motif bracelet. Even though, um, you know, 
if you try to calculate proportionately, I think the five motive bracelet is still a good buy. Uh, but obviously, initial outlay in terms of uh, price paid, it is higher than um, the other pieces. Well, there are five uh, motives, right? Um, whereas the earrings have two and obviously the pendant has one however the earrings do use quite a bit of gold as you can see from the backing that i showed you just now guys literally i had took like five minutes just to remove this oh my gosh i think the clasp on the sweets is also more difficult to remove guys to be honest i don't know why but anyway yeah i just want to show you how this white gold one looks i don't think it looks so pretty it's just so classic and it's not too much but yet you know it is great as a set so obviously you can get this in onyx malachite carnelian um gold hammered gold and they have rose gold as well and then guilloche etc i'm sure you can look at the website and what's good about vca is that um prices are on the website so definitely you can take a look uh, based on whichever country you're located in so yeah guys, that's all for my uh, VCA collection. I have four pieces right now and to be honest, the only one that um, I don't really wear much is really really this Alhambra one. I mean sorry, sweet Alhambra just because it's so small, it's so dainty but it is super cute. It did came come with this travel pouch as well so I don't know if I should let this go um, but because it's so small and I just I don't know, I just don't wear it that much. I just like this set a lot more now, like from like near my face. And of course, this one, I would always keep it because it's my first piece and I still love the carnelian. It's so hard to get this shade of red nowadays. And I don't know, I might still keep this, but I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Yep, it is in yellow gold as well. So a mother of pearls, you know, it really goes really, really well with a white gold, in my opinion. And what's different about the vintage piece versus the sweet is that this motif is attached to the chain. So it does not move around, unlike the sweet. So, um, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. And do let me know if you have any questions and what you're looking for uh, at VCA. I'd love to talk to you guys and chat. So I'll see you really, really soon at my next video. And do please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.